If stars is saying my part of the world, and welcome from me, Martin Smith, aka Cornish Grandad, to my YouTube channel. I trust you're well and interested in learning the fundamentals of how to create your brand on YouTube. This tutorial is about your YouTube channel brand, brand identity and brand creation. You should consider your branding before watching the YouTube Creator Academy course on actually setting up your channel. Today, we first discuss why you have created your channel, your ethos and what you're offering your viewers, how your brand design fits in with the offer and ethos, before looking at the trailer or title sequence and your channel banner, channel icon and the about tab on your homepage. What is it that you stand for? Are you after offering something to the community or do you just want to make more money? This is your ethos and the ethos drives how your brand is going to look. Take some time to write down what your channel ethos is. This is important before you can even think about creating your brand. Pause the video now. Consider that you want to make videos on hand knitted yetis using cooked pasta. Consider our value proposition, we need to answer three questions. First, do you have the skills to knit a spaghetti yeti? Second, are there enough viewers out there interested in knitting spaghetti yetis? Third, are there other channels out there already offering videos on how to knit a spaghetti yetis? If you and your competitors are offering something the viewers are not interested in, then just don't bother. If you're offering something that viewers want, but other channels are supplying, then you are in a competitive arena. Do you really want to contest in this space against the established channels? If you don't have the necessary skills and others are already fulfilling them, just well, why are you doing it? If you have the necessary skills and the viewers want to learn those skills, and yet there is a hole in the market because the competitors aren't there, then that's your value proposition. Take a look at the following brand leading logos. Pause the video and see how many you can name. That is the power of brands, they're memorable. What do all these have in common? Imagine you're walking to a superstore looking for something in particular. What do you see? Why do you select that item? That is brand recognition. Great brands are memorable because they have eye-catching, simple and distinctive designs that use bold colours. Colours can evoke feelings and emotions. These feelings are exploited in brand logos. Coca-Cola's famous red and white image conveys exciting and cleanliness. McDonald's yellow arches is exciting and fun, yet the newer green is intimating freshness and naturality. What do other brand logos convey? Brands tend to use bold colours, avoiding muted and subtle shades, so that's the second ring in on the colour wheel. When two colours are used in brands, brands will often use colours that opposite each other in the colour wheel, complementary colours, for example, orange and cyan, or yellow and purple. Where a brand has three colours, triadic colours are often used, that is those spaced evenly at three points around the colour wheel. Now I'd like you to pause this video and listen to the movie company intros supplied by The Computer Dude. The link's on the bottom on the card. And ask yourself some questions. Are there common threads between these intros? And how does Marvel and Pixar differ from the main? Welcome back. So what was the common threads? Well, I identified that the lengths are between 10 and 20 seconds. 90% of the backgrounds are either sky or black. 90% of them had text that zoomed in, scrolled past, floated in, revealed in some form or other. They were mobile. And they all have great, great soundtracks. It's 
So Pixar and Marvel seem to be the exception to the rule. Or are there really no rules? What I'd like you to do now is draft out some logos in pencil, whatever. Think of the colours that should go with that logo and then match your ethics and value proposition. Pause the video now. Apologies, this is the title sequence from my YouTube channel. It's 10 or 20 seconds long. It has motion, it has lighting, and it has stirring music. Just like the great movie sequences we've already explored. I wouldn't add it to the beginning of your videos. Wait until after you've presented the value proposition so the user doesn't click off but absorbs your branding ideas. YouTube also allows you to create a channel icon that should be the logo you've designed and to add a watermark to your videos, the same as your logo or variation thereof. On your home page, you can add a banner with a description of your channel that should clearly represent your value proposition and ethics. And each video you upload should be accompanied by a branded thumbnail. The small image next to your video with all the suggestions in the suggestion panel. This is the profile picture of Camille, who presents the YouTube Academy videos on how to set up a YouTube channel. And if you have followed the guidelines, then this small image will stand out and mark your brand. It appears at the top of your homepage, in video descriptions, and when you comment on videos. So you can see how important this is for brand identity. If you want to see the uh, YouTube Academy for guidance and sizing and uploading of your profile image, the card is attached, or view the videos by Justin Brown of Primal Video. The watermark is a small logo that can appear in the bottom right hand corner of your videos. It acts as a branded subscribe button. Be careful about the sizes when uploading. The banner appears at the top of your home page. This is the first thing your visitors will see. Now, the important thing is there are three different sizes, that for TVs, that for computers, and that for mobile devices. And it's quite tricky sometimes to get the right look across all three platforms. So you have to be careful to observe the size requirements. The central area, as in offbeat look here, will appear on all devices, but then with Camilla Johnson may not appear properly on some mobile devices, so you need to be very. Take some time constructing your description using a word processor to ensure it is grammatically sound, well punctuated and correctly spelt. Splatter with keywords for the search engine to find. When viewing a channel, users are presented with YouTube suggestions on suitable videos. Like a supermarket shelf, they will be drawn to the bright brands they recognize. Use that to get users to discover your content. I recommend a split design. Value proposition and outcome to the left as we read from left to right in English. So left is the priority side. Brand to the right for brand recognition. A background in complementary colors and a divider. Now, vertical divider signifies a break forward slash signifies kind of leading progression one into the other. So that's what I tend to use. Note that the watch and watch later icons overwrite the top right hand corner. So don't put anything important there. The last 20 seconds of your video can be what YouTube call an end screen. It's an opportunity for you to thank your audience for watching them. Perhaps have a catchphrase. That's another part of your branding and also an opportunity for the call to action. Please like and subscribe. You can also add thumbnails for other videos you have and your brand logo as a subscribe button. I've added two thumbnails, one for my video series and one for my next video and my channel icon as a subscribe button. Notice how in this mock-up, a lot of the screen is taken up by these elements. I suggest a simple, still, contrasting image. This mock-up has many thoughts. What do you think they are? Here are some resources you may like to look at for tailoring images or creating unique and distinctive images and animations, and also for setting up your channel. Please note I'm not being sponsored, nor am I affiliated to any of these companies. Just a list of resources that you may like to wish to start with. If you'd like to be creating your YouTube channel, 
I hope to see you on air soon. If you found this useful, then please click the like button or the subscribe button. A link to my video on creating tutorials is on screen. Keep in touch and I hope to see you soon.